What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ask the G's Gaming. In previous weeks, I've looked at Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday and Tom and Jerry and Fist of Furry. Let's continue that trend, and this week I'll take a look at Bugs Bunny, Rabbit Rampage for the Super Nintendo. It was developed and published by Sunsoft with a Japanese release date of June 24th, 1993. In February of 1994, it came over to the United States. The story for Rabbit's Rampage goes, Bugs has to traverse across 10 different levels, defeating a whole host of Looney Tunes villains, all the while being tormented by an invisible animator. All of the levels, characters, and villains in this game are loosely based around the Bugs Bunny cartoons, and the majority of them are all either pulled from or directly based on some of the cartoons written by Chuck Jones. Rabbit's Rampage is an action platformer, as you can see from, from the gameplay here. Bugs can jump, kick, throw pies, or drop items at enemies. The sprite work, backgrounds, and details in this game are all absolutely phenomenal, and very reminiscent of the original cartoon. Now sadly, however, the controls in this game are not so good. The Bugs Bunny sprite is rather large and lanky, which can make jumping feel horribly floaty. Even more frustrating can be the fact that a lot of times, enemies can't immediately be hit, jumped on, or kicked. On a side note, you can somewhat customize your own button layout to fit your preference. Now next, I'd like to touch on the music and sound effects. I will say that the sound effects in this game are charming and absolutely wonderful. And for the most part, they all appear to be pulled from the cartoon. The music is a different story, however. It's... Let's just say it's disappointing. A lot of the music in this game is a short little loop that becomes very repetitive and very boring quickly. So, finally, to answer the question, is Bugs Bunny's Rabbit Rampage worth playing and collecting today? Well, it actually kind of depends. If you absolutely love the original Looney Tunes, or any works by Chuck Jones, then yeah, I think you'll enjoy this game. But, just purely as an action platformer, you can find far better elsewhere. Even for a game that goes with price charting at $10. If you have a request for future game review, comment below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.